So the first two seconds you're moving with constant velocity. Second two seconds you are rest. And then you are speeding up, moving additional uh, four meter. And then you're slowing down, uh, but before you stop, you're moving additional four meter. And then you speed up again. And then you're slowing down to zero. And then you remain at rest. And then you move with constant velocity. This is at rest. This is at rest. This is slowing down. This is slowing down. This is speeding up. This is speeding up. It's moving forward. This is moving backward. Five, six, seven. So velocity and acceleration. So velocity is positive. Velocity is zero. Velocity is positive. Velocity is negative. Velocity is negative. Velocity is negative. Velocity is negative. Oh, uh, what the? Velocity is negative. Oh, shoot. Okay, I don't know. Okay. Acceleration is zero. Acceleration is zero. Acceleration is positive. Acceleration is negative. Uh, oh, velocity is positive over here. The acceleration is negative. Acceleration is negative. Acceleration is, uh, hey, acceleration is positive. Acceleration is zero. Velocity uh, and acceleration must agree with each other for speeding up. So, unless he's speeding up. Uh, location three. Location three. And location five. What happened, location three? Plus plus speeding up. What happened location five? Minus minus. Okay, so this is like vectors. This is like vectors. So this is speeding up. Okay, slowing down location four. Slowing down location six. What's wrong with location four? Uh, velocity is plus, acceleration is minus. Opposite vector slowing down. Uh, what's wrong with location six? Velocity is minus, this is plus. Again, opposite vectors, so it's must slowing down. The diagonal line, this must be a positive uh, straight line. Since this is um, a positive straight line, this must be zero. Since this is a positive cut, this must be positive diagonal line. Since this is zero, I'm going to put zero over here at eight seconds is zero. And this is maximum velocity, uh, maximum speed. So then this two point connect. This is zero. This is maximum speed. So then uh, connect this two dot. Okay. This is uh, maximum speed. This is maximum speed. This is zero. So connect this two dot. This is zero, right? So from 12 to 13 is zero. It's a diagonal line. So negative diagonal line. So it's negative. So I have. This is our velocity versus time drop. So this is our acceleration versus time drop. This one, zero. If you take the slope of this one, zero. If you take the slope of positive diagonal line, it's a positive straight line. If you take the slope of negative diagonal line, it's a negative straight line, positive diagonal line. So this is positive. Slope of this one is zero. And slope of this one is also zero. Okay, now we're going to shade area under the curve. Okay, so this is area under the curve. This is area under the car. Under the car. This is area under the. This is area under the car. This is area under the car. Now I'm gonna put the value one. This one is zero. This one is four. This one is four. This one is negative four. So ne this is negative four. This is negative one. So yeah, that's that's it. This one number one. Number one is uh, p of t is equal to half t. P of t is equal to one. I have to I have to have two points. So four comma one and six comma five. So four comma one is h and k. So this is y is five. This is a x is six minus a c is four square plus one. So five minus one is four is equal to four a. So this is one. So y is equal to x minus Four is square plus uh, one, so y is equal to x square minus eight x plus seventeen. So number three, p of t is t square minus eight t plus seventeen. Number four, and then ten comma five. So y is a x minus h square plus k. 
So y, this is h, okay. This is x and y. Y is equal to a. X is 10 minus a d squared plus 9. So 9, 5 minus 9 is negative 4 is equal to 4a. So a is negative 1. So y is negative x minus a d squared plus 9. So y is equal to minus x squared minus 16x plus 64 plus 9. So y is minus x squared plus 16x plus minus 64 plus 9. So y is equal to minus x squared plus 16x minus 55. So what p of t is equal to minus t squared uh, plus 16t minus 55, 10 common 5. So this is h and k, this is x and y. So y is equal to a x minus a c squared plus k. So this is your 5, this is your a, this is your x 10 minus a c is 12 is squared plus k is 1, right? So 5 minus 1 is 4 is equal to, this is 4a. So a is 1. So y is equal to minus 12 squared plus 1. So y is equal to x squared minus 24x plus 144 plus 1. So y is equal to t squared minus 24t plus 145. And then uh, equation number, this is equation number 5. Equation number 6 is P of T is equal to 1. Equation number 7 is P of T is equal to, all right, we need 2 point and we have 2 point. We have 13, 1 and we have 14, 0. So 0 minus 1 or 1. So we have minus 1, y equal to mx plus b. So y is 0 m is minus 1, x is 14, plus b, so then it's, it's 14, so y is equal to negative t plus 14, so negative t plus 14, okay, great, found it, okay, now we're going to find the equation for the line over here, this line, this line, this line, this line, this line, this line, and this line. We found the equation of the line over there. Now we're going to find the equation of the line over here. So to do that is very simple. We're going to first, this one is easy. This one is half. T, Vt is half. Number two, Vt is zero. Number three, Vt. Number three, this one is tricky. But tricky, we did it before. Uh, area is half bh. So area is four half two so this is four so this one is this one is this one is four four so this one is minus four okay now b of t is of course uh, this is four but we we need the slope right the slope is four minus zero divided by two so slope is two this is acceleration vf is equal to vi plus at so at if the t is uh, what is this? This is two. This is four. If t is four, then v i is zero. Then plus two. Then t minus four. So v f is equal to two t minus eight. Uh, so v f is equal to two t minus eight. Okay. Now let's do the next one. This one. Okay, so this one is, this is negative 4, so we know the slope. Slope is Vf negative 4, Vi is 4 over 4, so negative 2. So uh, Vf is equal to Vi plus a t minus t f, tf minus ti. Now at, at 10 seconds is uh, negative 4, so negative 4, so we must use 10. This is 2, t minus 10. So Vf is equal to minus 4 minus 2t plus 20, mm, yeah, I don't know. So Vf is equal to minus 2t 
plus 16. 4 is Vt is minus 2t plus 16. Here is half Vh. Area is negative 4 is equal to half. B is how much? 2. H. So this is negative 4. Okay. You have negative 4. Velocity final is negative 4. Velocity initial is 0 over 2. So negative 2. So Vf is equal to Vi plus At. Comma 0. That's what the point we're going to use. I don't know. I can point use any point. So Vf is equal to Vi is 0 at 12 seconds. So I can, I have to rewrite this equation. Vf is equal to Vi plus A Tf minus Ti. If Ti is 12 seconds, A is negative 2, then Vi must be 0. So negative 2 T plus 24. So negative 2 T plus 24. Vt is equal to negative 2 T plus 24. Okay. Now, the other one is 0. This is slope of this one is 0. Six. V of t is 0. And slope of this one is, slope of this one is negative 1. Negative 1. Okay. Uh, all right. So, that's basically it. Now, we're going to convert it to distance versus time graph. You know how to do that. And this is the average velocity. This is the average velocity. What is the average velocity? Average velocity is zero. And we're gonna convert if we convert it to distance versus time graph, we're gonna make it positive. So positive. And we're gonna make this one positive. Okay. And then we rest and we're gonna make this one positive. This is average speed. 18 divided by 14. Okay, so that's gonna be exam number one on October 10th. Make sure you understand. Everything we went over in this tutorial.